Hello, this is Alejandro Duarte from Vadin and I recently found this question on YouTube so I thought I could record this video to show you where to put a new Vadin theme inside a Spring application and how to use the value theme which uh, includes very nice features as you'll see in a minute. So I have here a Spring uh, application that has no custom themes yet. Uh, now the problem is uh, that when you create a, a, a new Vadin application using the Maven archetype, you will find a web app directory, which is not in the Spring uh, project. Uh, so people get confused uh, sometimes uh, about it. Uh, but the solution is pretty easy, actually. What I usually do when I want to add a new theme in a Spring uh, Boot application in this case, I just create a new uh, batting application using the Maven archetype and that creates a, a theme. And I go ahead and copy this directory, Vadin, and paste it uh, inside the resources uh, directory in the Spring Boot uh, application. That's all you have to do. Now you can use this, uh, uh, this theme. You can annotate the, annotate the UI implementation with uh, theme and use this name. Now, uh, sometimes you don't want to actually use that name. You would prefer something like uh, uh, dark theme, for example. Let's use this. Uh, yes, refactor. Uh, so you will have to rename the directory here. And then you will have to rename this file to dark theme and check that inside the, the file you are using the correct name for the mixing that is a dark theme and also in the styles.s uh, css file uh, this was changed by the id but here it won't change it wasn't changed so let's manually uh, change it it was a dark theme also here dark theme and that's it so you should be able to use the uh, theme annotation with dark theme. And let's start running the, the application to check that everything is all right. Yep, there you go. So normal uh, standard value theme, nothing is new. But there is something really, really cool, cool about this, uh, uh, this theme, which is the possibility to configure a completely different theme by changing variables. So for example, you can use a bigger uh, font size here. You can make the font uh, thinner. You can change the font family. Uh, let's use this so we can see the change. Uh, what else? You can uh, change the border, for example, six pixels and configure a color here. RGB, let's use uh, 50, 50, 60. The radius, uh, border radius, uh, if you want something very square, you would use zero pixels here. The background color, which is very interesting because uh, the value theme will calculate the, the color of the font and other things depending on the background color uh, for good con contrast. So let's use, uh, sorry, RGB, uh, something like 40, 40, 50. So this is dark, a dark background. And um, what else? Well, you can play with all the variables and see uh, how these will uh, Affect, affect your uh, uh, the look of, of, of the team. Um, let's uh, let's increase this and also this maybe to 50 for example. I think with, with this we are going to see a difference. So if I run the project again and refresh the browser now I get a really different theme as you can see really thick borders and uh, the components look quite different. Notice also how the font uh, uh, 
the value team uses a, a, a nice color for the for the font so that it, it has good contrast between uh, uh, the font and the background. Uh, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, hope you like it and see you in the next one.